another case of obviousness that I came across was Crocs Inc., which is the Crocs shoes or clogs, versus the U.S. International Trade Commission in 2010. The final ruling was for uh, non-obviousness in the Crocs patent. What originally occurred was that the International Trade Commission found that Crocs had an obvious um, claim with their patent in terms of their, they had no novelty. So what Crocs had done was take a one-piece foam base sole and connect it with a uh, foam strap. And that was their claim that these two connected together would create this new shoe. And it was argued by the ITC that this was based on prior art of two patents, one of which was for an aqua clog, which is also a one-piece foam-based shoe, and for the Aguri patent, which had to do with connecting a foam strap um, to a shoe to ensure stability and support. And so it was the claim that these two patents were fairly obvious to connect together for a shoe, and that Croc did not have um, the ability to patent their product. However, the Federal Circuit came in and said that Croc's use had been non-obvious. This is due to the fact that the patent for the strap originally used nylon uh, tie-ins so that it would reduce the amount of friction. What made the Croc unique is that because the foam created so much friction, their strap would actually stay in place without any other holdings. It had a loose fitting, but it wouldn't fall due to gravity, and so it would provide this Achilles support that uh, another shoe wouldn't. The Aguri patent for the strap actually recommended against using foam and foam because they assumed that it would be uncomfortable for the user to have this friction-based strap and that the fit would not work properly or would stretch or deform. And so Croc, uh, the Croc shoe, according to the Federal Circuit, actually exceeded the uh, ability of the patent. They were able to make it a much better, more viable product, and because it had been recommended against connecting these two elements in previous patents, it was actually a non-obvious use. And so ultimately, they won the case and were able to keep the patent.